Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to talk about the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and the determinant of any n by n matrix more generally uh, can be defined in this fashion. And I'll talk about this definition and also give you examples of 3 by 3 determinants and 4 by 4 determinants and so on in videos to come shortly. But in this video, let's concentrate on determinants of order 2, that is uh, 2 by 2 determinants. All right, cool. So, um, determinants of order two. Um, and again, this means um, two by two determinants, order two, so two by two. And so given a matrix A, um, so the matrix is called A, let's say, and um, it's a two by two matrix, so it has uh, four entries, um, and let's say the entries are A, B, C and D, I can ask you for the determinant of the matrix A in three different ways. One is to write did A, and another is to write um, absolute value bars around the name of the matrix. And note that this does not mean that the determinant is positive in value. This is just the symbol for saying the determinant of the matrix A. And the third and final way is to um, just put absolute value bars around the four entries in this case of the two by two matrix. So A, B, um, C, D. Notice that uh, the uh, matrix is housed in these like curvy brackets. So when those are discarded and you just have vertical bars around the entries, then you're being asked for the determinant as opposed to just being given a matrix. So all three ways are uh, ways to ask for the determinant of uh, a matrix. And in this two by two case, the determinant simply uh, equals the product of A and D, uh, and then subtracting from that the product of uh, B and C. So uh, a two by two determinant where the entries are written in this fashion uh, would have determinant AD minus BC. Notice that this quantity can be positive, negative, or zero. Uh, and there are geometric consequences to um, you know all three, which is uh, there's an interpretation uh, of what it means to have a positive determinant, a negative determinant, and a zero determinant from um, a visual perspective. Okay, and I'll talk about that in a different video. All right, but here, um, let's say that we have a matrix B and simply give one, one easy example of how to find the determinant of um, a two by two. So let's say that B has the entries, and I'm making this up as we go along, two, four, uh, and then three, six. Yeah? Okay, cool. So then um, if I ask you for uh, the determinant of this matrix B, then you'd have to say that it's equal to uh, two times six and then minus three times four. Um, and yeah, I don't know why three doesn't get parentheses, but this is clearly equal to 12 minus 12 and therefore zero determinant. Um, as you'll learn uh, by watching more of my videos or other vi other videos on linear algebra, having a determinant of zero uh, means that the matrix is not invertible. That is, this matrix does not have an inverse because this determinant is zero. Okay, so we'll say more about that later, but um, I think we can end here on this uh, basic example. Yeah? Okay, cool. Keep watching. And as I said, lots more videos to come on determinants.